guys, it's Tony from Finding Disney, and we're refining, ha, huh. like I've never done this intro before, huh. okay, my shirt looks like it's going, the lights on my shirt are so weird. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Finding Disney. We're finding the Disney magic right here at home. My name is Tony, and I'm going to be doing a tag today. I love doing tags. I think they're just a fun way to share a little bit more about you and then to go and watch other people's videos that have done the same tag. Um, I was tagged by my friend Nina from Wrestling with Disney. Her and my friend Alicia from Cinder Alley Loves Disney came up with this series of questions to get to know us and I'm excited to answer them for you. So let's get started. So like I said, there's 15 questions. Question number one, when did you start your YouTube channel? I have just recently celebrated my one year. I started in April of 2018 and I will link that video down below so you can go back and see after this video um, how I celebrated my one year on YouTube. I I've had such a great year, so you're gonna to wanna to check that video out. Number two, when did your love of Disney start? And I had to think about this for a second because I kind of always feel like I've loved Disney, but I think it happened right around seventh grade. My parents took us to Walt Disney World for the very first time. We went on spring break. Actually, it wasn't spring break. They pulled us out of school, which is even better, right? Um, and we went to Disney World, and I have some really great memories from that, especially seeing the electric light parade at night. That was fantastic. I've seen it again since then, but now it is in Disneyland, so I haven't seen it since it moved to Disneyland, only like on YouTube videos and stuff. Um, I wish it would come back to Walt Disney World because that is a fantastic parade. But that is probably, probably when it started. And then Aladdin came out in 1992 and I, I have a specific memory of seeing that in the movie theater. So between going to Disney World in seventh grade, Aladdin coming out, I started collecting the movies and I've always been really creative too. So I started, when I started collecting the movies, I started copying and drawing pictures of uh, you know like my own interpretation of the characters and stuff on the cover and I, I have specific memories of that so I guess we're gonna go back to seventh grade which was 1992 for me number three what inspired you to start sharing your love of Disney on YouTube so <laughs> my kids always watch YouTube I only really watched YouTube for like how-to videos and things like that or if I just wanted to get some craft ideas, anything like that, I would just kind of sparsely watch it. I didn't subscribe to anybody's channels. But then when I started taking my children to Disney and I wanted to get on YouTube to see like some tips and tricks, maybe some cool things to do around the park that I hadn't thought of, just seeing families go to the park and then I became like obsessed even when I wasn't at Disney. <laughs> Watching these videos of people vlogging from the park or just um, opening pins or like those little surprise pins, just anything. I just, I couldn't get enough of it. I actually, that, that, was, that was a few years back. And then I really got into this channel, uh, Miss Alley Cakes, Allison. And then I also got into Sarah Sterling and I don't know, both of those channels just really hooked me. Tim Tracker, I watched him a lot. Um, and just random videos as well. Just if I was gonna stay somewhere, I looked it up to see you know, what it was like, what the rooms looked like. So that, that's where it started. And then I'm like, I can do this. I love watching these videos so much. I thought I can share, I can do this too. And it would just be a fun, creative outlet for me. So that's what started it for me. And also I started becoming a Disney travel agent and I thought it would help me get some clients. So um, I've shared that before. And if you guys are looking for a Disney travel agent, please contact me. I'll put my information down below. So number four, what are your favorite Disney topics? 
guess I don't really have a favorite. But if I had to choose one, I guess I would pick the music. I really like the music and I really like sharing it with my children in the car. I really like watching the musicals and just singing along and I love to sing. So we'll, we'll go ahead and pick the music as my number one. Number five, if you could meet a Disney YouTuber, who would it be? A, a couple of years ago, I would have said Tim Tracker, Sarah Sterling, you know, I would have I would have said those people. Tiffany Mink, I watch her. I would have mentioned those, um, and I still would absolutely love to meet them. But now I've, I've met so many people in this community that also have YouTube channels, and to be able to meet up with some of my now, they were fellow YouTubers, and are now my friends, that would be amazing. So I would love to meet Nina, who tagged me in this, or... or um, Alicia from Cinderella Loves Disney. I, I would love to meet Rita over at Chanted Rita. We did a swap box. Um, Christina from Playdates and Travels. She was one of my very first supporters. And we did a swap box together as well. I mean, I, the list just could go on. Um, so that, that, my answer has now changed. I would love to meet up with some of those people. <laughs> Number six, what do your loved ones think of your love for Disney? Now, my kids, I don't know what they think. I think they're nice to me, but they're, they're pro I probably embarrass them a little bit with having a YouTube channel. They say I don't embarrass them, but then um, I catch their friends and stuff watching my videos, and they're probably totally making fun of me, but uh, I don't care, and I don't know if it embarrasses them or not, but they call me Disney. Some of their friends call me Disney Mama when they see me, and they poke fun at me a little bit. Uh, my family is really supportive. My husband watches all my videos and gives them all a thumbs up as soon as they come out. And uh, my mom, my sister, my mother-in-law, I mean, like, it's crazy. Everybody really supports the channel. And everybody just knows how much I love Disney. My students at dance get me fun Disney little gifts. And um, uh, one of my dear, dear friends, April, one of my best friends, April, she... She loves Disney just as much as I do, so we, we can carry on about that for a long time. So um, I do have a lot of support, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. I do have a lot of people that, that think it's great that I found something that I love. So number seven, my earliest memory of Disney. Now, I kind of already shared that with you because my earliest Disney memory as kind of went along with it when I first started kind of becoming obsessed with that I guess is the word um, and I went to Disney World that I think that is really what shifted it for me in seventh grade so yeah that's that's my earliest memory who's your favorite Disney villain Disney princess overall Disney character I could list quite a few Disney characters that I love um, but again I guess I'm gonna have to go back to Aladdin it's my first one of my first memories of seeing it in the theater it was funny. It was. It just had a, just a great soundtrack, um, and I loved The Little Mermaid too. But I don't know Disney or excuse me, uh, Aladdin just really like stuck with me. So my favorite character is the genie, who's hysterical. Um, I don't really care for villains that much. I love Rapunzel. I love. Uh, oh, I love the movie Frozen. Love all the characters on the movie. Anna, Elsa. And, and um, Sven, he's hysterical, he's, you know, the little little snowman guy, what's his name, Olaf, oh my gosh, I dressed up as Olaf one time for a dance, the things I'll do for my students, you know what I mean? But, love those characters. Yeah, I'm not much of a villains person though, like people can like pick their specific villain, but I guess, if I had to pick one, I guess I would say Maleficent, since the new Maleficent movie came out, you really kind of learn her backstory and how her wings were taken from her and, her sad, tragic love story. So I think I kind of feel bad for Maleficent in a way. So I guess I'll choose her if I could pick a villain. She would be it. Um, let's see here. What Disney character do you think you can relate to the most? <laughs> it would probably be Rapunzel. Um, she is just loyal to a fault. And when she finally escapes that tower, she just can't hardly handle it. Um, and she does puzzles and darts and baking and dancing and reading and all that stuff that she sings about in the beginning. And I have a lot of interest 
So, and I guess I would have to pick Rapunzel if I could pick somebody that I was a lot like. Do you share your love of Disney outside of the YouTube community? And I try to keep it at a minimum. I don't want people to think I'm too strange, but being a dance instructor, every single year, I will choreograph a dance to a Disney song. Every single year. I think this year I have six. And so, yes, I do share my love outside of it. And the kids know it too. The kids know it. I always use Disney songs. Uh, this year I'm doing um, a Moana song for one of my, all my Hawaiian classes have Disney songs. One from Moana. I have one from Lilo and Stitch. And what's my third Hawaiian? Oh, Pineapple Princess, which is sung by um, Annette Funicello which is on like a Disney remix CD. So not, it's not like technically a Disney soundtrack, but it's, it, it's still Disney. And then um, Nowhere to Go But Up from the New Mary Poppins is one of my ballet dances. Uh, Better Together from The Descendants is one of my tap dances. So, I mean, I think there's one more too. I'm just not thinking. Oh, Go the Distance. That's one of my ballet dances from Hercules too. So, yep, I have six this year. <laughs> and every year I choreograph to a a Disney song so I have fun doing that how has the overall experience of being a Disney youtuber been thus far and it has been really nothing but positive I've had a few negative comments a few thumbs down it, at first it bothered me like a year ago I think oh my gosh what could I do differently and then I realized it's okay you know I not everybody's gonna like the videos I make I don't care I really don't I have made some great friends and I have really, I've done some neat things on my channel and I look back at it and it almost makes me, it makes me emotional because I have done some really cool things with my kids that I've captured on film. It's just almost like I captured my whole year on video with my kids, with myself, just doing cool things. So I have absolutely no regrets. I love it and I'm going to keep doing it and no matter how many subscribers I have and if I make a dime off of it, I don't care. I'm just really having a good time. So yes, my experience has been very good. Okay, so the next question kind of ties in with the earlier one. What do your loved ones think about you being on YouTube? And I, I shared earlier, they're really supportive. Uh, most everybody watches my videos, and if they don't, if that's okay. I mean, YouTube isn't for everybody, so if they don't watch my videos, that's okay. And um, But most people think it's pretty cool. Most people think it's neat, and most, actually, a lot of people say, how the heck do you have time to do that? You have three children, you work, you you do all this stuff. I do, I do lots of ministries at church. It's like, everybody's like, how in the world can you fit in a YouTube channel? But I do. I love it, so I make it work. <laughs> um, how has YouTubing about Disney helped to bring Disney magic into your life? And that is the whole theme of my channel. Bringing Disney magic, finding it at home, not spending a ton of money. I'd love to go to the parks all the time. I can't. I would... I would love to just be able to pop in whenever I feel like it and or just have something you know to eat and then leave and come and go and that would be neat um, but I can't so I like finding ways that I can bring Disney magic into my life without having to spend a ton of money and that is the whole point of my channel and if you are all about that I really hope that you subscribe and stick around because we can really uh, build a great community so let's or add to my community because I have built a great community and I would love to add you. So if you want to subscribe, that would be fantastic. Um, no, I keep saying um, and so it's probably getting annoying, I'm going to assume. Because I keep getting lost. I'm, I was on number 13, now I'm on number 14. What are your other passions outside of Disney and YouTube? If you haven't gathered it already, just from this video, I love to teach dance. I love everything about dance. I love my students. I love being able to be creative and choreographing the routines to Disney songs. <laughs> I like them. I like all the songs I pick. Um, I also love to sing. I am the worship leader at my church every other month. I love working with the kids at church. I love working with the kids anywhere, at, at dance or at church, whatever. I am a mom obviously so I am busy doing that my kids are all involved in stuff and I'm constantly going here and there with them which I love anyway I like being busy I'm just kind of a busy person if I'm not busy 
I will add something else to my plate. I just thrive that way. That's how I function. I like being busy and I like having things to do. If I don't, I just end up being bored. My house is a complete disaster though. If if you if you wanted to know that. My house is an absolute disaster. It's borderline disgusting actually. Borderline disgusting. Okay. Maybe that was a little TMI. Number 15, the very last question. What is your biggest dream for your channel? I think my, I think everybody's honest answer is gonna say that they wish that they had lots of subscribers and they made money from their channel and they could do this full time and they wouldn't have to go to work anymore, right? I think that's everybody's ultimate goal is to have a successful channel. But how do you measure success? I feel like, I feel like I've, been really successful. I have 752 subscribers as of today. I I think that's successful. That 752 people chose to hit subscribe on my channel. Um, and I just think that's really neat. I really do. Whether they support the videos or not, that's really neat to me. I find that successful. I have made I have made tons of friends. I have done tons of cool things with my kids. And so that is successful to me. Above and beyond that, yes, it, the money would be great, but I, I feel like my channel is successful because of what I've accomplished in this past year. And I was so scared to do it, and I, I took the plunge and I did it. So you guys, thank you so much for sticking around in this video and getting to know a little bit of more about me. Uh, before I go, why don't I tag a few people? I don't know who I'm gonna tag. <laughs> I don't know who I'm gonna tag, so I'll just, I didn't think of that before, so I'll tag them down in the description and then I'll get a hold of them later. But um, thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you again really soon for a new video. Bye, Disney fans.